Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. In this tech video, I'm going to be taking a quick look at Avatar ROM and just showing you how to install it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, basically just hit the links down in the description for the uh, ROM. This ROM is for the Nexus S, the GSM version, as well as the CDMA or Nexus S 4G. Uh, it's based off of CyanogenMod 10.1, uh, Android 4.2.2, and it brings along some more customization with it. So once you've done that, open up ROM Manager or your uh, ROM Manager of choice, um, and you can just go ahead and back up your current ROM so that if anything goes wrong with the new install, you have a backup of the current one, and then reboot into recovery. Okay, now once you have rebooted into recovery, I'll bring this up here. Basically what you're going to want to do is uh, wipe data factory reset, Go ahead and hit yes. Once that is done, you're going to go and uh, do a wipe cache partition. That'll finish, and then go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, and hit yes. That one's probably the fastest. And then just go to install zip from SD card, choose zip, go to your download. Uh, if you visit it straight from your phone, then you're going to go to the download folder, as you saw me do. If you uh, visit it from your computer and then you dragged it over, just drag it over uh, to the root of the SD card. So not in any folder, so it's easy to find and scroll the way down. Uh, then you'll see the uh, file, which should be cm 2.0 b 63 2013 25 crespo zip And just you hit yes and install it. Okay, so once your uh, ROM is done installing, you can just go ahead and hit go back and reboot system now. Now the first boot will be the longest so don't be alarmed if it takes a couple minutes. If it takes around five to um, ten minutes or longer uh, there's probably something wrong and uh, this is where that backup comes in handy where you can just reboot into recovery and um, there's the boot animation. Reboot into recovery and uh, restore the old ROM. So I'll let that boot up. No, okay, so the ROM is done installing, and uh, you may be presented with just this screen uh, because you haven't installed the GApps. So that's where you're going to go. Hit the link down in the description, and uh, basically just do the same thing. Although instead of doing a wipe data factory reset, you're just going to do the wipe cache partition and the Delvit cache. Then go to installs it from SD card, choose those GApps, install, and then reboot, and you'll uh, get the GApps. So as you can see here, there's heavy customization to the to the UI. Now, as I mentioned, I believe this is based off of CM10.1, so we'll go down to About Phone. And it um, doesn't show anything of uh, Cyanogen Mod. Oh, there it is. The kernel version it uses Cyanogen Mod kernel, and as you can see, Android version 4.2.2. So there it is. Now, uh, I'll take a quick first look. I don't want to get this video too long. Um, but basically, uh, it's got a lot of customization, as you can see. Uh, we'll go into the CM wallpapers, and we'll just choose this one right here. If you uh, check out the app drawer, you'll see the nice little transition. It actually does feel pretty fluid, which I'm uh, pleasantly surprised about, because most of the time when you apply a lot of customizations to ROMs and stuff, especially older device like this, um, the device can kind of slow down, but this doesn't seem to slow down at all. It's seems really nice and fluid um, so we'll check out the uh, apps that it comes with or if it does it comes with Apollo um, you have your DSP manager file manager uh, ROM manager so that's nice they included ROM manager um, uh, you have movie studio which I believe is your like a gallery uh, maybe I'll check that out super user terminal uh, theme chooser torch and that's pretty much it so if we go to movie studio oh movie studio is the uh, the Google app to create your little movies so we'll go ahead and check out theme chooser and you have denim which is one installed and then system you can go online turn on Wi-Fi okay so now that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi um, we have all these themes so this is Wow, this is uh, pretty nice, actually, and I'm not a big uh, fan of theming my um, ROMs just because uh, I, I just kind of like the stock look, but um, this, this is actually pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll probably make a review or uh, a larger overview of the um, themes that you can choose from as well as just a general overview of how the ROM feels, but overall, 
Uh, first blush, it seems really smooth. It actually seems like the smoothest rum I've used um, ever. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give a like. Subscribe down there because I'll be having more coverage on more ROMs, as well as iOS videos, etc. And a giveaway coming up at 500 subscribers. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.